Hi everyone, my name is Dave E. and Cyrus D. David from Bantubi Elementary School. Today, I'm going to tell you a story about Bully Bill. Bill is a bullying spree. He believes that he is the strongest animal on the farm and that gives him the right to do as he pleases. But the farm animals decide to stop them by a great tail that moves in a quick pace, keeping the reader engrossed right to the end. Farmer Fred had just bought a new bull. He named him Bill. Bill was a strong and handsome bull with great horns. He was very big for his age. Farmer Fred got Bill. The bull loaded into the trailer and headed back home to his farm. When they arrived, Farmer Fred said, Bill, welcome to your new home. Bill just snorted and tossed his head back to show up his impressive horns. This was all new to Bill as he was raised in a small stall and his new home was very different. He had a lot to explore. Bill stood on the hill and watched all the barnyard animals. He thought to himself, I am the biggest animal on Farmer Fred's farm. No other animal has such great horns. Bill chuckled at the chickens as he slowly walked up to them. They were so small and they didn't have horns. As Bill approached, the chickens flocked the lone duck duck as Bill almost stepped on her. Bill lowered his head and quickly shook it from side to side right in front of the chickens. I'm Bill, the bull, and I'm bigger than you chubby chickens, he said in a deep voice, and I am the boss of the barnyard. Bill the bull frightened the chickens. They rapidly ran, flip, flop, and flew to the safety of their cozy coop. This made Bill the bull laugh loudly. He was having fun. Ha ha ha! Bill saw some plump pigs moving in the mud and decided to play a prank. As he approached, he said loudly, I heard Farmer Fred say that he needed some bacon for breakfast and ham for dinner. He then laughed loudly and tossed his head around of showing of his great horns. This frightened many of the pigs and they proceeded to their pen for protection. The biggest pig named Porkchop walked up to Bill and said, You very mean bull, Bill. Bill snorted a reply. Well, you have a big black nose, a tornado tail, and pink ears. Also, you are a dirty and smelly. Then Bill lowered his head, snorted a great snort, and shook his horns at Porkchop. Porkchop was a wise old pig and knew what Bill was doing. He wouldn't be bullied by any bull, even Bill. Now, Bill the bully bull was expecting Porkchop to march through the mud and proceed to the pen for protection. But Porkchop just stood there looking at him. Then Porkchop said in a soft voice, You very mean bull, Bill. Then Bill saw some sheep in the meadow. Bill began to walk across the big barnyard towards them. When he got there, he was met by the Roger Ram, the leader of the flock. I'm Roger Ram, rejoicing at meeting my newest neighbor on Farmer Fred's farm. He said in a very polite manner. Bill ran at Roger Ram, snorting and shaking his big horns, and said, 
I am Bill, the bull. I am the boss of the barnyard. In a split second, Roger Ram rammed Bill, the bullying bull, between his big horns. Bill, the bullying bull, looked at Roger Ram and said, All that white curly hair might give you lots of flair, but you ram like a... Then Bill backed up, started to fall at the ground, with his hefty hooves, snorted seven snorts, shook his horns, lowered his now lumpy head, and... Roger Ram and the others were treated from the meadow. Bill, the bullying bull, was proud of what he had done. All the barnyard animals were afraid of Bill. He was either threatening them with his size and big horns or making fun of the way they looked. It was not a pleasant day on Farmer Fred's farm. I am going to call him Bully Bill, said Henrietta Hen. That's not nice, responded Roy Wooster. That's being a bully yourself. Well, we will work on something to stop his bullying, replied Toby Turtle. Roger Ram said, I don't know what we can do. I rammed him and he called me a you. Dorothy Duck said, He almost stepped on me with those heavy hooves. No one is safe. With tears in her eyes, little Patty Piglet said, I heard I was going to be eaten by Farmer Fred. I'm scared. Porkchop said in a soft and soothing tone, Don't worry, my friends, by the evening feed by Farmer Fred, Bill, the bullying bull, will become our buddy. Bill was having so much fun. He certainly was the boss of the barnyard. He looked around and saw a big barn with open doors and he just had to let whoever lived there know that he was the boss of the barnyard. It was a bright, sunny day, but as Bill walked into the dark barn, he couldn't see anything. This frightened him a little. He turned the corner around the door and BOOM! He was stopped in a mid-stride. Bill realized that he had just walked into something really big, so big it didn't move when he walked into it. As Bill's eyes adjusted to the darkness in the barn, he started to see what had stopped him. He was looking at the chest of some big animal. Bill was scared. As he looked up, he could see the biggest bull with the biggest horns staring down at him. A voice like thunder filled the barn. I finally get to meet Bill, the boss of the barnyard. Now Bill didn't know what to do or what to say. All he could do was look up at this giant and wonder what would happen next. There was silence in the barn for several minutes as Bill just looked up in amazement. Finally, the big bull said something. I am Brian Bull and have lived on Farmer Fred's farm for many, many years. In all those years, never have the other animals asked me for help. But today, they came to me with the story of a big bull that was bullying them, 
and they asked me to put an end to it. I agreed. Bill was never, ever so frightened. Brian could toss him across the barnyard with little effort, and one push from his head, Brian slowly lowered his head. Bill looked down and began to shake. Brian got closer and whispered into Bill's ear. What do you think I should do, Bill? I promised the other animals I would put a stop to your bullying. Please believe me, Brian, you have. Bill said in a truly honest voice. I have been so frightened in my life, and I know the other animals must have felt. Bill began to sob a little. I know how it feels to be bullied, and you didn't even really bully me. I have learned my own lesson, and I will go out and apologize to all the animals and ask them to forgive me. You don't have to. Brian said. You already have. As Bill turned around, he saw all the other animals standing in the doorway. Here, pig, 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 come on, chick, chick, chick. The animal heard Farmer Fred calling them for the evening feed. Chap walked over to Bill and said, Come on, buddy, let's eat. The moral lesson of the story, do not be too boastful and be nice to other people in order to have a smooth and happy relationship with them.